One day, Arkansas actor Billy Bob Thornton was shaving, and he was mad because he wasn't getting the parts in Hollywood that he wanted. So as he was shaving, he started playing around with the voice of a guy he knew in Arkansas, and then we started doing the face, yeah. And this is how Sling Blade came to be. The story soon followed the face in the mirror, first as a one-act play, then a film short that was so well received, Thornton got just over a million dollars to produce a full-length film. And for Thornton, there was only one place to shoot it, Benton, Arkansas. And he wanted Arkansas actors, like Natalie Canarday, who he called, and she thought he was asking her to audition. And his exact words were, oh, Natalie, screw auditioning. I wrote the part with you in mind. It's yours if you want it. And Natalie wanted it. I did the script and read it, and it was so good. To go with Arkansas actors, Hollywood stars like John Ritter, Robert Duvall, as well as country music star Dwight Yoakam and child star Lucas Black. But despite the big names, Arkansas actor Tim Holder, who got a small part as an undertaker, says it was Thornton who stole the show. He would uh, tell the cameras where to go and where everyone to sit and what to do exactly, and then when the uh, director of photography said action, he was immediately Carl. It wasn't like he took any time at all to get into character. He was just right there. He was so used to the character um, that he would go straight from director into Carl. I mean, it was, it was stunning. I picked up a Kaiser blade that was sitting there by the screen door. Some folks call it a slang blade. I call it a Kaiser blade. There is no doubt that Billy Bob Thornton was fully obsessed with that character in that story. Jeff Nichols was a student at Central High School when Sling Blade hit theaters in November 1996. 25 years later, he's an award-winning director responsible for movies like Loving, Take Shelter, and Mud. I don't need to be afraid of me. I got two ways to protect myself out here, this shirt and this pistol. My films do not exist without the influence of Billy Bob Thornton and, the, and this movie. It don't matter to me about us losing, does it you? No, sir. You're like, this guy did this. He did it in a pure way. It worked, and people responded to it. Canada says she knows why. Every character in it was, you know, you believe they were real and existed, and you either knew somebody like that or were like that. Um, and so I, that's why I think it resonates. And it wasn't long before Holder realized he was in something special. I started seeing a lot of celebrities talking about it in interviews that had nothing to do with Sling Blade, that people were saying, if you haven't seen Sling Blade, you've got to see it. Thornton would go on to receive nominations for several Academy Awards and took home the Oscar for Best Adapted Screenplay. Glamour aside, Sling Blade's influence is still being felt 25 years later. It showed me what was possible from the state of Arkansas. You could not watch that film and have it exist anywhere else. Any other southern state, it exists in Arkansas. You still see signs of Sling Blade's presence in Benton. For Natalie Canada and Tim Holder, it's something that will always stay with them. It, it really did change my life in terms of it opened doors for me and people wanted to hear me audition and wanted to meet me and wanted to hear me read. It's just an honor to have been a part of something that's that historic, that is that important for Arkansas. And Sling Blade's impact goes well beyond just its cast. The movie continues to inspire the next generation of Arkansas filmmakers. What it did was inspire, you know, a kid in high school to come back here and dedicate himself to making uh, movies here. I'm proud of you.